Now, I always really loved the early paintings. I was a huge fan of those, I still am. The paintings were so magical, and they, they pointed to a kind of London that you wanted to live in, that seemed bohemian and was centered around, you know, West London and Soho. The mythology around them, of course, was very enticing to young artists. It always felt as if they were living life and an artistic life. There, there was no difference between artistic life and their real lives, which is what all artists want. You have to remember, most artists are quite loath to uh, talk of their influences. You know, your influences are things you lock up in a in a safe, and hopefully, no one no one notices them. State of hallucination in those early ones. You know, that there was paintings like the one of Francis Bacon, which I always loved in the Tate, the one that went walkabout, and that incredible one which they they still have the, the boy with the cigarette. I think the boy with the cigarette, it, it was that exactness, you know, that thing of making things more, more real than real. I think when you look at a lot of his works, they often do feel like butterflies pinned to the, to the table, you know? They, they are like looking at human animals. And he calls them naked portraits, but they are very much of the skin. And the earlier ones, they seem to be telling a story, and they're such dominant personalities. <laughs> 